So in the short term, we'll see if that's going to allow Marathon to continue its run up. Or All right, welcome to Talking Investing. I am Tom. As always, this is not financial advice. We're here to talk about all things investing. And today I have a Bitcoin miner I want to talk about. And they are currently, by market cap, the largest Bitcoin miner. And they're actually the largest by far. So today we're going to be talking about Marathon, stock ticker M-A-R-A. -A. Marathon's relatively new to this Bitcoin mining game. And you'll see at the beginning of the year, they were mining virtually no Bitcoin whatsoever. They now have the largest exahash rate and they have purchase orders to become by far the largest. Now, there's some other people out there making some moves, uh, some of which haven't even started mining Bitcoin at all. But at the moment, Marathon stands alone as by far the biggest miner. However, I am going to go through some numbers because despite the fact that they have the largest exahash and despite the fact that they have the largest market cap, they actually did not mine the most Bitcoin in the month of September. So we'll go through those numbers as well. So there's some good things here. There's a potential opportunity coming up to maybe have a pullback on this stock. Uh, so I'm going to give you some price predictions. I think it's going to go up before it goes down. Uh, and it may not go down, but I want to go through a scenario where it's possible that we could have a buying opportunity shortly on Marathon. I want to go through their September mining operation update, and let's take a look at what they said. Okay, Marathon Digital Holding announces Bitcoin production and mining operations update for September 2021. Quarterly Bitcoin production increased 91% quarter over quarter. So that is significant. They're not really doing a year over year thing. They were not mining Bitcoin last year, basically. That would be irrelevant. But 91% growth quarter over quarter is massive. This is a ultra high growth company. Okay, so let's go through a few of the details. All right, this is just a graph of their exahash that is running currently and their plans on... Uh, where they're going in the future. We will go through that in more detail later. This is this one's kind of tough to see. October 1st. So this is the highlights for the month of September. Produced 1,252 new minted Bitcoins during Q3 in 2021. Increasing production by 91% quarter over quarter. We just went through that. Okay, next bullet point. Produced 340.6 new minted Bitcoins during September 2021. Increasing total Bitcoin holdings to 7035 with a fair market value of approximately $336 million. So they have over 7000 Bitcoin that they're holding. Now, they did buy a bunch of those at the beginning of the year. So those are not all self-mined. A couple thousand of those, I think, at this point are self-mined. So, And they do have a HODL strategy, much like all the North American miners right now. They're basically holding on to all the Bitcoin that they mine. Cash on hand was approximately $32 million. So between $336 million in liquid assets in Bitcoin and another $32 million in cash and uh, over $100 million in deposits on equipment coming, they're a very healthy company from a balance sheet standpoint. So that part of their business looks solid. They also did another thing. I'm going to skip down to the bottom bullet point. On October 1st, 2021, they obtained a $100 million revolving line of credit secured by their Bitcoin. All the other companies, several of which are suffering right now from shelf offerings, they've really had to raise money through equity. The, the debt option has not really been available to this sector, but Marathon's balance sheet is strong enough at this point that they now have a $100 million line of credit, which will allow them to be agile and add machines, you know, and, and make some decisions on a more rapid basis. Also, it prevents further dilution. Now, I will say $100 million is not going to get them to the finish line of what they plan to do. So somewhere down the line, they are either going to have to spend their Bitcoin, which I doubt, or they will probably have to do an offering. Unless they can get a larger line of credit in the future, which is also possible. So this is a chart that they give. Here's their Bitcoin mined by month. So you can see in the month of January, they mined 50 Bitcoin. So this is what I'm saying. February was 43 Bitcoin. So they were hardly a Bitcoin miner at the beginning of this year. These are extremely low numbers. Remember, this is now a $5 billion market cap company. 
So that is not based on these numbers, obviously. So you can see some massive progression here. They, they're increasing on a monthly basis. My concern with them is this. In the month of September, that went down to 340.6 Bitcoins mined. Now, obviously, you'll see the difficulty level is rising at a pretty steady rate. It's nowhere near back to where it was at its peak in May. It's not really even back to where it was in June. And they've added a lot of machines since then. So comparatively speaking, to put this in perspective, they have roughly the same hash rate. They had 2.7 exahash in the month of September. Riot, which has been the company that they've been compared most to, and it's kind of their closest rival, Riot had a very similar hash rate in the month of September, and they mined 406 Bitcoin. So that was a reversal. Marathon went from mining more than Riot to fairly significantly less in the month of September. So Hive Blockchain as well mined with between Bitcoin and Bitcoin equivalent because they also mine Ethereum, they mined the equivalent of 407 Bitcoin. So, so Riot was at 406, Hive was at 407, and yet Marathon dropped down to 340.6. And I think there's a reason for that. Marathon has created their own pool. So on a long-term basis, I think that's gonna be a very big thing. You're gonna see they are planning on 13.3 exahash of their own mining power. So the bigger their mining pool gets, the more efficient it's going to get in mining. There will be less luck involved at that point. And I'm going to show you, they actually even talk about their hash rate and they talk about the luck involved. So CEO said, our September production figures were impacted by a material increase in the total network's hash rate, the luck factor inherent in Bitcoin mining, and two days of scheduled downtime. The thing is, the smaller your pool is, the more luck comes into play. So on a larger pool, just as in anything statistically, essentially right here in this press release, they're kind of saying they had some bad luck in September. So this brings me to what a potential opportunity might be. Next week, Marathon is going to announce their October results. So if their October results fall short, and, and the yardstick that I'm using is, I'm gonna look at how much Riot mined in the month, and I'm gonna look at how much Hive mined in the month. If they fall behind those two again, then I think it's possible their stock price is gonna take a short-term hit. Their stock price didn't really pay any penalty for their lagging Bitcoin production in September. So it was one month, they put it off to, you just heard what they said, uh, variables, they were down a couple days, bad luck, so you know, in one month, that's okay. If that starts to be a trend, their stock in the short term will pay the price. Now, now this is not financial advice, but for me personally, if that happens, I will be buying Marathon because when we look at what they're doing long term, they're going to get that pool up to at least 13.3 exahash, you know, maybe 15 to 20 exahash by the end of next year. At that point, they will be roughly the same size as the other largest mining pools in the world and law of averages they're going to get their bitcoin by the end of next week most if not all of the bitcoin miners will probably have disclosed their october operational update including the amount of bitcoin that they mined so that will be an extremely interesting comparison so not that i'm wishing this on them but if it so happens that they lag again in the month of october I do think that could potentially set up a, a short-term pullback in the stock and a buying opportunity. You'll see back here on April 5th, Marathon had an intraday high of $57.16. So that was their all-time high. They closed the day at $55.89, so that didn't even hold for the day. That is their all-time high. So as we zoom in a little bit, you'll see here on October 20th, they started to approach their all-time high again. They got up to $56.47. So they didn't quite get there. That was as Bitcoin was creating its new all-time high. Marathon almost got back to its all-time high. So Marathon is behaving very similar to Bitcoin itself. And just to take a look, this bull run I've been saying began September 29th. So if we go to September 29th, through right now, Marathon is up 67.5%. 
and you can see it was up even more last week. This is one month. It's now October 29th. So that's September 29th to October 29th. This thing has had a 67.5% run up. That is outstanding, especially considering the fact that this is by far the largest market cap Bitcoin miner. This puts them over $5 billion in market cap. Riot is in second place out of all the miners, and they're just about $2.6 billion. So, whereas Riot actually earlier in the year had a higher market cap than Marathon, they're now almost half the market cap of Marathon. Having the largest market cap and having a 67.5% run-up is very impressive. This is a super healthy stock right now. So if we go from where we are right now at about $51.34 back up to their all-time high, they're only about 12% away. I am expecting the Bitcoin bull run to continue, and I think as that does over the next few days and one week, uh, Marathon, I think, is poised to at least test its all-time high. So that's a 12% short-term run-up. Then I think what we're going to run into is they will be issuing their... October mining operations results. So now there's going to be two variables. How is Bitcoin doing? Does Is Bitcoin continuing its bull run? I believe that it will be, but I don't have a crystal ball, so I guess only time will tell. So that will be one variable. The other variable will be, are they now lagging behind in production? That's really the only thing in the short term that I see hurting them. I'm expecting them to very shortly hit their all-time high and then within a very short period of time, within days of that, they should report their October operating results. So in the short term, we'll see if that's going to allow Marathon to continue its run up or if it's going to be a little pullback. For me, and again, this is not financial advice, but for me, if it does pull back from there, I would be a buyer on that. So that's my plan. I don't know that we're going to get that opportunity. Again, this stock has been super healthy. These guys are are the big dog like it or not and they're new to this industry so a lot of people have not warmed up to them yet and it's not about liking them or hating them they have the highest exahash rate in operations and they've got plans for 13.3 total exahash by mid to late next year which is substantially more than any of their current competitors that are actively mining bitcoin right now so Good things ahead for this company, in my opinion, with a potential buying opportunity next week. You know, we'll see what happens. So that's my update on Marathon. If you guys enjoy uh, Bitcoin mining and Bitcoin in the Bitcoin sector, we do a lot of that here on this channel. So please subscribe to the channel. And if you like this video, smash the like button. And thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.